Glory, praise, and honor be unto God our Father and unto Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior and unto the blessed Holy Spirit our teacher and guide. Greetings to our deputy overseers, Reverend Barrington Richards, Director of Administration, and Bishop Marcia Gale, Director of Mission and Evangelism. Greetings to the Board of Bishops. Greetings to all our ministers, from reverence to volunteers, deacons and deaconesses, saints and brethren. New Year's greeting in Jesus' name. I want to say special thanks to all our ministers for their faithfulness and their confidence standing at their post through the year 2021 amidst the pandemic and the various obstacles they face. I give God praise for everyone. I truly thank God for carrying us all through 2021. As we start this new year, 2022, we, will, we are trusting the Lord to see us through, seeing all the different struggles that we came through in 2021. God did promise in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And in Psalm 91 verse 10, he promises, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Nothing can happen to God's faithful servants except by God's permission. We give God all the praise and all the glory. As I waited on the Lord for a special word for his people, the word came from the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. As God's special children, we have had the true knowledge of God. We have been a body fitly joined together in unity and love. Now we must go forward in victory, stirring up the gift that God has given to every one of us. He has get, given the same measure of faith and he expects us to carry out the mandate for his kingdom. We are threatened and surrounded by foes, but God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. He has also given us power to tread on serpents and on scorpions and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. St. Luke 10 verse 19. When God speaks of serpents and scorpions, these are terms representing the most dangerous of spiritual forces of the enemy as Christians being covered under the water and under the blood that came from Jesus' side, we have confidence that nothing can harm us. I personally encourage the body of Christ to go forward in the power of the Holy Ghost. I was looking back to 60 years ago when I first accepted the Lord. It looked impossible to even go for three weeks as a Christian, but seeking the Lord, 
pressing and fasting and trusting him. He has allowed me to, came, to come forward for 60 years through many dangers, toils, and sneers. I have already come. God, to God be the glory, to God be the praise, to God be all the honor. Precious servants of the Most High God, let us humble ourselves as servants of Christ, not lords over God's heritage. Continue to stir up the gift that is in you. We have it, stir it up through fasting and prayer. Our 21 days of fasting starts on January the 3rd until the 24th, 2022. I pray to God that our whole spirit, soul, and body will be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I wish you all of God's richest blessings. I wish you good health. I wish you happiness and prosperity for 2022. God bless you all. Stay in your place. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help, knowing that God is in control. He is the head. Amen. And as we go forward trusting him, we are sure we shall come out victorious. This is my prayer to you all. In Jesus' name, God bless you.